So welcome aboard on our journey through the new Polyworks collaborative suite. As this solution is totally new for most of the audience, we're going to dive into each of our three new collaborative products. Our presentation has two main objectives to demonstrate the outstanding impacts that digital collaboration technologies have on individuals, teams, and enterprises, and to share with you a vision that you can bring back to your workplaces to help you transform your processes. So let's start our visit. And this is our first stop, and I will be your tour guide, and we will talk about data management. Can you guess what these aspects of human activity have in common? Our workplaces, how we learn stuff, how we purchase goods, and even how we search for a new partner. Well, it's easy. They've all been radically transformed by digital connectivity. Let me now present the three fundamental qualities that a good digital connectivity solution possesses. Firstly, it's user-friendly. You generally only need to enter a username and a password, and boom, you're connected. As a user, you don't need to know what's going on at a lower level. The complex hardware and software infrastructure that makes digital connections possible is hidden from users. Then, good digital connectivity solutions require little computing power on the client side. They've been able to reach the masses because they can handle all consumer devices. Finally, these solutions are fast, usually significantly faster compared to alternative solutions. So, isn't it time that someone brings digital connectivity to our market, 3D metrology. Yes, now's the time. And that's why in November 2018, we launched Polyworks Data Loop, a digital connectivity solution that leverages an existing PLM infrastructure to digitally interconnect all of the people who capture or need access to 3D measurement information. And as with all good digital connectivity solutions, Polyworks Data Loop is user-friendly, lightweight, and fast. It's user-friendly because as soon as you're connected to the PLM, you can start managing all of your, the, the, you can start managing the storage and file access of all your inspection projects, reverse engineering projects, and point cloud data sets without have, ever having to use a file browser or care about your local hard drive disk space. Moreover, as we index all the standard and custom properties in your projects, you can search within the database using a wide variety of criteria. Polyworks Data Loop is lightweight. Using a standard web browser on a desktop computer or mobile device, you can monitor the measurement activity throughout the organization, analyze the trend charts of any dimension, and open inspection projects in 3D. And as all these large files are stored on computer servers managed by a professional IT team, you and your teammates are freed from data management headaches. Finally, Polyworks Data Loop is fast. We've implemented intelligent caching strategies and minimal data transfer techniques. This means that you will not transfer large files twice if they're already present on the database or your local cache, dramatically speeding up project uploads and downloads. And as all Polyworks users are interconnected, they will have access to your measurement results the minute you've uploaded them. You can even share clickable links that point to your inspection projects. Let me now invite my colleagues Elizabeth and Frederick, product managers of the Data Loop solution, for a live demonstration.
we're going to show you what it means for Polyworks users to be digitally connected. First of all, my IT team has already configured my data loop connection. So I can just log in. Any data managed by a workspace is compatible with data loop. This includes inspector projects, modeler projects, and polygonal models. Let's say Fred and I work for the same company. He's a metrology tech, and I'm a manager. We're going to show you a collaborative metrology workflow here, and you're going to see how easy it is working digitally connected. Fred, could you take a look at that inspection project we just did for Apex? There was an assembly issue involving circles one through four. No problem, Elizabeth. To open the project Elizabeth wants me to review, I just need to click Open in Inspector, and I search for Apex. All properties that match the search term are highlighted in yellow. I also have Snapshot to help me quickly find the exact project I'm looking for. If needed, I have access to a powerful search and filtering tool. For example, let's say I know the part number of Elizabeth's contains 5424. I can filter the results using 5424. Okay, I found a project to review. I click open. The project opens quickly because only the data required for the current operation is transferred. That's what we call minimal data transfer. Without data loop, opening this project from a shared drive can take minutes. With data loop enabled, it takes seconds, no matter how many pieces are in the project. Fred, please make a control view for circles one through four and set the inspection status to undefined so I can review it myself. Sure, no problem. I'm creating the control view that Elizabeth asked for. I named the control view critical circles. And I set the approval status to undefined. How do you usually share your inspection? Maybe you export a PDF report, or put together something in Excel, or zip the whole project and copy it to a network drive. All these techniques require manipulating files. With data loop, I just need to upload the results. I'll have the note that will be stored with the, with the created revision. Critical circles. This project has many pieces, but sharing it with my colleague is very fast because only the data that has changed will be transferred. Now, let's see how easily Elizabeth can access my inspection results. Remember, Fred's goal here was to alert me to inspection results I need to review. Actually, any of Fred's colleagues with the appropriate credentials can now review his inspection results. All our colleagues have immediate access to the inspections. As a manager, I don't use metrology software, but I use web browsers, so I like this secure data loop web server to keep track of things. Once logged into the data loop server, I have a dashboard that helps me monitor and analyze all my company's metrology data. All our inspections are being stored on the server, so it's continually updating as new inspections are performed. I can have multiple dashboards and widgets here. The metrologists set them up, and I just check in a few times a day to see how we're doing. I can create new dashboards and widgets and edit existing ones. This pie chart is showing us our device usage over the past 100 pieces. This bar chart is showing us the passing and failing inspections across many projects. And this line chart is showing us all the inspections for a few piece numbers. From the list of available dashboards, I'm going to choose Cover Assembly, which is the set of parts that I'm tracking. This dashboard is customized for this assembly. Here I have a bar chart that shows us the passing and failing inspections for two of our production lines, production line four and production line six. That's how I keep track of our incoming inspections. 
If an inspection isn't signed off yet, I should see it here. I can drill down in any widget. So let's see what we've got here for production line six. If Fred set his inspection status to undefined, I should see it. And here it is. I can open it directly from the widget. I now have access to all of Fred's inspection results, and I can look at his new control view for critical circles. I also have access to the project and piece properties. I can look at SPC results. I can refine the SPC results by any criteria. Here I'll limit it to only production line six. I can expand the annotation and all the statistics are shown at the bottom. If I mouse over a dot, I see the details for that piece. Only the pieces from production line six are shown in this according to our filtering criteria. And if I click on a dot, I can go to that piece. It's a great way to browse through inspections. From anywhere in the interface, I can search for another project. Let's see how these critical holes impact the assembly. I'm gonna search for everything that contains this cover. Here are my search results and uh, here's my assembly. I'd like to see if there's a rework order on this yet. If a report was made in inspector, I'll see it here. And I see that Fred already started one. So let's take a closer look at that assembly. This project contains two uh, models and with this action button, I can control the visibility of the reference models and the color maps. I can also filter controls and search them. It seems to me that we don't actually need any rework on this part because it's gonna work out fine for the assembly. I'll go ahead and let Fred know he doesn't need to uh, do anything with that nonconformance report. Uh, and now he's not even at his desk. Damn it, Fred, where are you? I'm at Starbucks. Uh, you didn't bring your laptop with you, did you? Yeah, but no dongle, sorry. Ah, that's all right, I'm gonna send him a link. I can share the exact same page that I'm looking at with Fred via email. All he has to do is click the link and he'll go to the exact same view that I'm looking at here. I can simply click on the link sent by Elizabeth to review the exact same project and piece she is looking at. Now, I'll open it directly in Reviewer to close that report. Without using any file browser, with a single click, I directly open the piece Elizabeth wants me to review. Note that using the free Reviewer, you can edit the project. I'm going to open the report Add a note, no rework needed. And to complete, I upload. You see, we did a loop right there. Yes, a data loop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth and Frederick. That was great. Digital connectivity is all around us for good reasons. You know why? It makes our lives easier. That's the goal. That's why it's there. PolyWorks Data Loop is the key component that will transform the use of 3D measurement data within your organization by removing data sharing limitations 
and ensuring user-friendly, lean, and fast processes. The 3D metrology of the future is definitely connected. Thank you. So, now the second stop in our collaborative suite journey. And now we're going to talk about measurement planning, something very important in our field. First, let's review how 3D measurement planning is done today so we can identify the limitations of the current processes used in our industry. In today's measurement planning processes, the design and manufacturing teams have the important role of defining the geometry and dimensions that will be controlled. There are four major purposes for inspecting a part or an assembly. To check if the part fits within the assembly, to guarantee that the part will fulfill its function and performance, to ensure that the product will be visually appealing, and to control the cost of manufacturing. The 3D measurement team is also, uh, is also an important player in the measurement planning process. They have the important responsibility of translating dimensional requirements into measurable objects and defining how these objects will be measured. This is what we call measurement strategies. This picture illustrates the typical measurement planning processes used in our market. There are currently three main approaches to exchange measurement plan information between the CAD platform and the 3D metrology platform. 2D prints. This is the traditional method where dimensional requirements are defined on 2D drawings, then printed on paper. PMI, or product manufacturing information. This is a functionality of CAD software that the design and manufacturing teams can use to define inspection geometry and dimensional requirements. That information may then be imported directly by the 3D metrology platform. Third-party software. Some customers don't even use PMI. They export their CAD data into a third-party software where they define the inspection geometry and dimensions. The information is then exported to a neutral file format and imported into the 3D metrology platform. Let me now highlight some of the difficulties encountered by customers who use these processes. 2D prints are not digital, so the 3D measurement team has to recreate the inspection geometry and dimensions, a time-consuming operation that is prone to error. Using a third-party software does not lead to a robust process because the CAD information and dimensions are floating between three different software systems from three different vendors normally. Um, it's a fertile ground for compatibility issues. Finally, a common, aspects of, a common aspect of all these approaches is they're all unidirectional. The information flows from CAD to the 3D metrology platform. But updating the CAD information or the measurement strategies is a logistical nightmare if the process only goes along one way. So that's the way it works today. That's the present. So let's forget about that for an instant. Let's put that aside and let's now dream about the future. If you had a chance to plan the next generation measurement planning solution, what would be your wishes? Well, let's do the exercise. It's fun. And the first thing we'd like is to have a paperless digital process, right? So let's get rid of 2D prints. And we'd like to be able to leverage our powerful CAD platform and our powerful 3D metrology platform without having to introduce a third-party solution. PMI. PMI is not bad. It works partially. Its main issue is its incompleteness. It doesn't offer all the tools that uh, the metrology team needs. Uh, lots of, uh, of the dimensional requirements can't be created with standard PMI. So we'd like to boost the PMI to be able to handle all the requirements for 3D measurement. And finally, we'd like 
the design and manufacturing teams and the 3D measurement team to truly collaborate and have a bidirectional relationship. That's it. That's the dream. That's what, that's what we need. But how long will it take before you can get your hands on this lit, uh, next generation solution? Well, I have good news for you. I'm sure you saw me coming. That solution exists now. And it's called Polyworks PMI Plus Loop. And let me introduce you now to the fully digital PMI Plus Loop measurement planning process. How does it work? Well, what we do is we install within the CAD software platform an add-in, a PMI plus loop add-in. That add-in injects Polyworks functionalities within CAD, so you can create Polyworks measurement objects, dimensional controls, and control views. The add-in is made from Polyworks source code. So that means that the design and manufacturing teams are literally working with Polyworks. Now, because by design, this is a cross-platform solution, there are no translation at all. It's a native Polyworks file. So you're going to have a bidirectional communication between the design and manufacturing teams and the 3D measurement team. Exchanging CAD updates, modifying measurement strategies, becomes super easy. The, the dream has become reality. So let me invite my colleague Simon, who is product manager of the PMI Plus Loop solution, for a live demonstration, an important live demonstration that will unveil some of the mysteries surrounding PMI Plus Loop. So, we're going to perform a live demonstration of PMI Plus Loop. This demonstration will be done in two stages. Firstly, we will demonstrate a traditional workflow where the measurement plan is produced within the CAD platform, then transferred to the 3D metrology platform. We will highlight two major innovations of our solution. Firstly, you will see how PMI Plus Loop boosts the capability of CAD software by adding new measurement object types, as well as perfectly handling constructions and control views. Uh, you will also discover how the manufacturing team can specify new types of dimensional requirements that are specifically related to the fabrication process. Good luck, Simon. Thank you, Mark. So let's start by opening a sheet metal part using the NX CAD software. The PMI tab from the NX main toolbar provides access to the standard PMI tools. The Polyworks PMI Plus Loop tab provides access to our new measurement planning tools. Now, let me create a new datum views model views that will be used to store all the Polyworks measurement information that I will create. Then I will use the auto detect feature tools to create three datums. The first datum that I will create is the middle plane here that cuts this part in half. I will create this datum by picking two side planes and then average them. Now, I will use a native CAD tool from the PMI tab to set this constructed middle plane as datum A. I will repeat these steps to create datum B from a pin. And datum C from the two slotted holes.
PMI plus loop offers you the possibility of assigning Polyworks geometry controls to the objects it has created. Note, however, that we have renamed geometry controls characteristics to adapt to the terminology of CAD software. Yes. Here is the list of characteristics tools. With this tool, you can edit the characteristic of one or multiple Polyworks measurement objects. For example, you can activate or deactivate characteristics. You can assign a characteristic number and edit tolerances. Now here, I will select the two slotted holes and I will deactivate the length, the width, and the Z characteristics. Now, I will create a GDNT control using a native CAD tool from the PMI tab. And I will control the datum B perpendicularity with respect to datum A. So I'm now finished uh, editing my datum feature view. Let me show you a second view named holes that I have created beforehand. It contains the different characteristics and GDNT that we wish to control for the bracket holes. Until now, we have demonstrated a workflow that would typically be performed by the design team. Let us now show you how the manufacturing team would use PMI plus loop and highlight some unique capabilities offered by our solution. The manufacturing team generally prefer to see inspection results reported in their uh, co uh, tooling coordinate systems. So let me create two coordinate systems using native CAD tool. Then I can use the list of characteristics tool to assign each coordinate system to the X and Y positions of my slotted holes. So now let me show you how we can create another type of measurement objects such as comparison points on CAD surfaces and along edges. I will first create a new model view. Then I will create surface comparison points. and trim edge comparison points. So the design and manufacturing team now, uh, they have completed their work. It is now time to save the measurement plan and import it inside Polyworks. So as you can see, the CAD model 
and its associated measurement plan that includes geometry, constructions, controls, and tolerances, and control views have been imported automatically. So we're now going to the second stage of our demonstration. And we will demonstrate an unconventional workflow where a measurement plan entirely built within Polyworks is imported into CAD software. A design change is then applied to the CAD data, and the updated measurement plan is transferred back to the 3D metrology platform. This second half of the demonstration will emphasize two outstanding innovations offered by PMI Plus Loop. Firstly, the associativity that is automatically computed between the imported Polyworks geometry and CAD entities. It is this associativity that will allow us to automatically update the measurement plan when the design change, the design change is applied to the CAD data. And then you will also discover bidirectional communications between the CAD platform and the 3D metrology platform. It's up to you, Simon. I am now part of the measurement team, and I have prepared this project from 2D prints. So here are the controls and the control views that have been created within Polyworks. Now, I will export the measurement plan as, with the design team as they need to apply a design change. So I am now a designer working in CAD software. There is no PMI defined yet for this part. I am now importing the measurement plan created, exported by Polyworks. So all the model views and characteristics that have been created by the measurement team have been successfully imported and automatically associated with the CAD geometry. So now I need to apply a design change by modifying the size of the two slotted holes. As the measurement plan is fully associative with the CAD geometry, it is updated automatically. So I can now export the updated measurement plan and share it back with the measurement team. Back in Polyworks, I will create a new piece template And then I will replace, as you can see, the old CAD revision by the latest one.
So as you can see, the measurement, the measurement plan has been updated automatically. I'm ready to measure some pieces. And we have just created a loop. Thank you, Simon. When we started this collaborative suite projects that's several years ago, uh, we've set ourselves a goal of helping our customers improve the performance of their processes by an order of magnitude. With its modern digital collaborative workflow, the Polyworks PMI Plus Loop cross-platform measurement planning solution has brilliantly reached this objective. Thank you. And now, the final stage of this collaborative suite journey. We're at the final stop. And this time, we're going to talk about, about reporting. Excel is one of the world's favorite business applications. It's used a lot by Polyworks customers to uh, prepare inspection reports that will be shared between different departments and even with uh, suppliers. Excel is popular because it's powerful and flexible. It offers a wide variety of visual formatting tools, mathematical calculations and graph generation, and powerful customization capabilities through macros. Until today, our strategy to inject Polyworks data into Excel consisted in selecting items in an inspection project, for example, tables and snapshots, then automatically transfer these items into the Excel spreadsheet. This approach works, but it's complex to implement as Polyworks macros and Excel macros are required to transfer the data at the desired locations. Two technical challenges explain why macros are needed uh, with the current approach. Firstly, it's difficult within Polyworks to specify where the data should be copied in Excel as you're dealing with two separate software applications, two different user interfaces. Then uh, we only transfer values into the Excel spreadsheet. So if the inspection project was modified, we would need to retransfer. We would need to trigger a Polyworks macro to retransfer the data and update our spreadsheet. As Excel is an important tool for all our customers, we deeply wanted to improve the interconnectivity between Polyworks and Excel. So, while investigating different possibilities, we made two breakthrough innovations that would change things completely. Firstly, we realized that the user experience would be completely transformed by reversing the workflow. It's not Polyworks that should push data to Excel. It's Excel that should query Polyworks data. Imagine an instant, if you could, within Excel, connect to an inspection project and parse its contents. It would be very easy to take that data and move it exactly where you want it to be without using any Excel macros. This discovery led us to develop a plugin within Excel. That's when we realized that we could enrich Excel with our own Polyworks formulas. Instead of copying values into the spreadsheet, we could copy formulas. If the inspection project was modified, we would just need to re-execute the formulas to re-transfer the inspection project data into your spreadsheet. We were so excited by these innovations that we decided to launch a new product. Today, I'm pleased to add to the Polyworks Collaborative Suite the new Polyworks Report Loop for Excel solution. A solution that interconnects the Polyworks Metrology Suite to Excel and allows you to program updatable spreadsheet cells that automatically inject Polyworks data into your pre-formatted corporate inspection reports. So, let me invite my colleague Simon on stage. He's lucky, right? 
He's a very busy man. <laughs> Simon will do a live demonstration of Report Loop. Okay. So for this live demonstration of a report loop, I will use a typical measured inspection project. Piece and project properties have been specified. Several types of measurement objects have been defined, such as a data color map, features, cross sections, comparison points, and gauges. Snapshots and tables have also been created. Finally, control views have been defined. Now, let's open a preformatted Excel report and see how we can easily inject Polyworks information into it. You will see that Excel features a Polyworks report loop tab once report loop is installed. The first button connects to an inspection project. The second button manually triggers an update operation. Hey, Simon, can you show us where we can have access to Polyworks data to populate the spreadsheet. I'm very excited to see that. <laughs> sure. We first need to connect to an inspection project. Ah. In this case, there is only one possible project as uh, only one is currently opened. Once connected to a project, a tree view is displayed and provides access to control views, measurement objects, and report items. To display the information that can be added to the report, you just need to select the appropriate node from the tree view. For example, the project level node provides access to project properties. The preview panel below the tree view displays the information that can be added to the report. To copy the desired information into a cell, you just need to select it, select the destination cell, then click on insert. A double click can also transfer the information into the destination cell. What you see in the cells are values, but behind these values are formula that queries value from the inspection project. Formulas are very useful to create updatable cells in the spreadsheet. For example, if I go back to inspector and modify the part property, the part number property. Without saving my project, I go back in Excel. You will notice that the update button is enabled. A click on it will synchronize the value of my spreadsheet. It is the formula that do the work. Now, I will go back to Inspector and set the part number property back to its original value. If I now save my inspection project, Polyworks will automatically trigger an update operation. Through the control views node, you have access to a control table and a snapshot for each control view. First, choose a desired control view. Then, 
you can add element from a table or a snapshot. I will now select the All Controls node to inject measured information inside my report. Um, here are the four columns uh, we need to fill in. But Simon, if you fill these cells one at a time, it's going to take time. Isn't there a way to go faster? Yes, there is. I'm worried, you know. You just need, uh, here I can select an entire column from the preview panel, select the first destination cell, and click on insert. So I can repeat this operation for the three other columns. I really like control views. They are a great way to review inspection results in 3D. But what if I have an old inspection project with only tables and snapshots? Can Report Loop handle these projects too? Yes, it can. You just need to open the Report Items node. Uh, let me switch to a new spreadsheet. I will first insert a snapshot. Then I will insert element from the table. Oh, sorry, that was report items node. Yes, a snapshot. Then element from the table. And now about snapshots, are they updatable too? Yes, they are. So let me modify the length snapshot by modifying the color scale. So I will change the range limit to plus minus 0.1. I now go back in Excel without saving my project. The update button is enabled. A click on it will automatically synchronize the values of every cell, including snapshots. OK, great. Thank you for the demonstration. So let me uh, uh, present you three important benefits of that report loop solution. First of all, you've seen it, user-friendly workflow without macros. Uh, in fact, it's so intuitive that it could be used by non-Polyworks users. Um, we paste formulas in your spreadsheets, not values. So if the inspection project is modified, the formulas will update the spreadsheet automatically. And finally, this is a comprehensive solution. Not only does it support snapshots and tables, but also controls, control views, project properties, and piece properties. Oops, there's an important benefit missing from the slide. I'm wondering what it is. Ooh. It's completely free. This solution is free of charge. It's come with the Polyworks 2019. No, but wait. That's an even better news. Not only is it free, but it also connects to the free Polyworks reviewer, project reviewing solution. So you, you know what it means. It means that from now on, you can start deploying smart inspection reports within your organization at no cost. Thank you very much. This is the end of our collaborative suite journey. And now I would like to...